So here I'll try to demonstrate how to hook up this board to your track. So let's say you want to replace the old computer running on COM boards. You can use this simply by hooking up to the existing track. Let's say you have a, a track with all, with all the relays and, and the dead strips already in place and you want to run race coordinator on it. This is one way to go. So you can either do a daisy chain uh, ground like this if you have a single power supply for all the track or independent grounds if you have in the you know individual power supply for each lane and this is for the relay and at the moment I, oh, I have a 4 and 2 instead of a 6 I haven't decided yet if I want to keep 4 lanes or 6 lanes and when I, when I eventually go to 6 uh, I'll plug you know 4 dead strips here two for the two extra lanes and, and two extra pits and, there and to demonstrate its operation each relay you can test here on race coordinator and we need to go to back to analog setup and here for example relay one two three and four and so on And on the digital setup, I can experiment with the with the nine volt battery. We put it on the in here. You can see the the light coming on. It's a way to test if it's working. And that's it. Really, it's pretty simple. It's a good way to replace uh, your old system if you're still using a very old computer running on com ports. And there are different combinations you can do with this. For example, you can have uh, sectors, which means you can put dead strips in areas of a track so you know which time you're doing, let's say from A to B, B to C, C to D, and so on, depending on how many lanes you have. In this instance, I made them in headers of eight, so when you order, you know, your, your, your connectors, you only need to order one type and then generally come in packs of five. Here we can compare the two prototypes and you can see how with the Arduino Uno and this uh, strip board it gets really bulky and you can only you know control eight dead strips here instead of twelve and it's much more elegant as well but essentially it's the same footprint to build one of these strip boards, it might take you a whole day or a few evenings, depending, you know, how proficient you are at soldering and, and designing your boards. And this will save you a lot of time. It is already all there. You just need to connect. In the future, I'll make available other variations, such as this one that works like a sandbox, and you won't need to buy a microcontroller to attach to it. It will be all, all in one. And basically, this will allow you to to cater to your track. You can jump wires where you don't want to have, uh, you know, up the couplers, etc. And another variation is, well, there are four boards here together, but let's say, let's say this one, the one here. It works also as a sandbox, but it's more for a standalone point of view, which you will have your own screen and etc. No, no computer involved, but you can. You can make it for a computer because there are headers here that you can attach a USB to serial, you know, module here, and can use the computer as well. 